great adventures of counterclockwise. A hip-hop sci-fi odyssey full of spin, spine, tingling, twists, and turns. Teeming with adventure into worlds never before seen. With the entire universe on the line. Can counterclockwise a Catopian princess and a ragtag bunch of felines save the day? Let the adventures begin. Mr. Proxy, sir, the results are in. The hair follicles seem to belong to a feline, sir. A feline, you say? Yes, sir, a cat. A cat? Are you sure? Yes, sir. We ran the test several times, and the results were all the same. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> the aliens are cats. <laughs> Get me the snow goons. Seriously? The snow goons, sir? Did I fucking stutter? Get me the snow goons on the phone now. Sir, yes, sir. If anyone can solve this problem, they can. With extreme prejudice. <laughs> Meanwhile, Princess Lily and Henry desperately try to rebuild the broken flux generator engine in order to reach contact with planet Catopia. Henry, do you have the flux generator engine? So what do you think of the going there? Just what happens to do is I just have to go on ahead and go across this wire with this wire and then green to the red, red to the green, and back to there, and then green, and then red to back, and I'll and control out the lead, and then enter, and... God damn it, Henry! Can you get the engine up and running or not? Bingo. Hello! Is anybody out there? This is an emergency broadcast calling all Catopians! Calling all Catopians! We are indeed need of assistance! We are in deep need of assistance! Planet Catopia is on your scene! I repeat, we are on your scene! It's over! We have a cold black! I repeat, a cold black! E-L-E! Event over! E-L-E! Event over! This is the captain speaking! ID number 001599! I repeat, 001599! They will take the heavy fire! on their way. Time you showed up. All right, all right, all right. What seems to be the problem, Auntie Dolores? Oh, what seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? I'll give you 1,500 fucking problems, and they all spell eviction. That bitch owes me $1,500 in bank rent. Do I want her, a crippled son, and a weemowiest daughter-in-law, and those fucking cats to fuck off my property? They here until the first of the month to pay me my fucking rent or get kicked out on their fucking asses. Come on, it's 1140. 
Okay, they still have 20 minutes. Can, can you fucking wait? 20 fucking minutes, Auntie Dolores, okay? I don't have time for this. Oh, like that's a big fucking difference. 20 minutes, 10 minutes, fucking 5 minutes. I don't give a shit if it's 140 minutes. I want that bitch out of my apartment now. Okay, okay, okay. Just hold on. Let the authorities handle this. Jesus fucking Christ. This is Officer Hate Pig Nitty from the Cleveland Heights Police Department. Open up. Open up, open up, open up! Now you have 20 minutes to pack up your belongings and vacate the premises. Bitch, you ain't getting in this motherfucking apartment. You can get the whole United States motherfucking army up in this bitch. Cause you ain't getting up in here, ho. If you do not pack up your shit and vacate this apartment in 20 minutes, I will blow a hole through this fucking door and drag your black ass by your hair and send those dirty ass cats to the Animal Protective League. Now, pack up your shit! Calling all cars! Calling all cars! There's been a mass shooting at the Wandering I Night Club on Coven Street in Cleveland Heights. Now we're getting reports of fights, shootings, and lootings in the streets. I repeat, calling all cars! Calling all cars! That's a Class 5 riot! A riot! A, a, a riot! <laughs> Fuck yes! Time for the people to bleed. Sorry, Aunt Dolores, but I have to go. Duty calls! <laughs> Wait, what? I want that bitch out of my apartment now! The streets of Cleveland Heights have turned into a war zone, and I'm the Punisher. A riot! Yes, this is my time now. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! <laughs> now what, bitch? You ain't got your back up now. No, this is fucking bullshit. I don't give a shit about goddamn excuses anymore. Oh my god, it is so fucking on, bitch. You and me, come on, get the fuck over here. I swear to god. I'll beat the shit out of your old ass. You keep on talking shit, I'ma slap the fuck out of you. Oh shit! I'm going to bash your head with a stick! What the fuck do you- Oh, she slapped the shit out of that bitch! Bring it on, bitch! Now, what? swing, bitch. What, you gonna talk all that shit? You gonna get the fuck up out of my face. I told you I ain't had no rent money. You get it when I no, get it. Damn, watch out. Oh, shit. No, bitch. No, you didn't. No, you didn't just wait on me like it that. This woman is gonna make you see cool. You're gonna give me the red money, all right? Cause I'm gonna take every penny out of your black ear. Place your best. Y'all got twenty dollars on Mr. Dale. Twenty dollars. Place your best. I'm taking all bets. Place your best. Oh shit. Twenty dollars to kick that bitch on the cut. Please, ladies, don't fight. Please, turn your attention to the Lord. Stop it! Stop it! Break it up! Break it up! Uh, now don't break that shit up. Let him work it out. Let him work it out. Star World. Meanwhile, back at the Wandering Eye, riots have broken out in the city of Cleveland in flames. Deacon and Kaya race to get home. Yo, this shit is fucking crazy. Look, stay close to me. Keep your head low. We gotta make a run for it to the wheelchair van. The wheelchair van? She probably left. Look, we should just stay hidden where we are until all this is over. We can't, cause it's almost midnight and that landlord bitch is gonna throw my mom, our cats, and all of our studio equipment on the street. But we don't even have the money for the rent. 
Look, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But for now, we gotta stay focused. Keep our heads down and get to that fucking wheelchair van without getting killed. All right, fuck it. Let's go. Oh, shit. Somebody dropped a gun. And it's loaded. Fuck yeah. Now we got some protection. Yo, get behind me. Let's go. Disobeying a direct order, you will be brought up on charges and demoted to desk jockey or a traffic cop by the end of the week. Now fire! to the live ammo and return fire. But sir, what about the women and children and the... Look, they're firing live rounds at us. Now switch from the rubber bullets to live ammo and return fire now. That's an order. Yes, sir. Open fire. I teach these goddamn criminals not to loot and ride in my fair city. Not on my watch. Son of a bitch must pay. Kill them all. Breaking on Tell All Lies News reports. I'm Bob Tucker. And I'm Tucker Bob. And no, we're not related. That's right. Might shoot myself. Don't you worry. 
I would have done it for you. Okay, back to news. Apparently, riots have broken out at the Wandering Eye in downtown Cleveland. Shots were fired and all hell broke loose. Scores of Clevelanders keep piling up. Going live at the scene with Ralph Whitaker, questioning Officer Hate Pignitti about the tactics used to quell rioters and bringing law and order back into the streets of downtown Cleveland. As you can see, I'm here at the scene of the riots. There's bullets flying everywhere. The local police have arrived, as well as the SWAT and the National Guard, including the reserve forces and the local militia. I have here Officer Hate Pignitti who can shed light on the situation. Officer Hate Pignitti, tell us and the viewers what are you doing to de-escalate this situation? Please, kill them all!
Thank God we made it. Oh, fuck. Come on, man. We just gotta go through this back alley so we can get through the back door. Come on. What the fuck? The back door is unlocked. Where all this money come from, man? It's the money for the rent right here on the table. What the fuck is wrong with the cats? What the fuck is going on? Fight! 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 The fuck? Yo, break that shit up, nigga. It's my motherfucking mother. Mama, you okay? I told you I was gonna beat that bitch's ass if she came over here talking shit again. Oh, shit, ma. I know you just didn't beat up the landlord. Look, Dolores, I'm so sorry. Here's the $1,500 for the back rent. Here's the $250 for the late fee. Right? It won't happen again. Next time, don't pay me the fucking late. Bitch, get your broken up dentures and get your money and get the fuck up out of here. Oh, my God. Ma, chill. Just chill. Look, she got her money, all right? So just chill. Let's go inside, man. And you will be hearing from my lawyer's bitch. Those things longer than you can see. This better be my hospital bill. Yeah, ho, fuck up out of here before I beat the shit out of you again. So if you come over here again talking shit. Fight night is over, all right? The fight is over. Y'all motherfuckers, get the fuck out of here. Yo, Kai, get the cast from getting outside, man. Yo, yo, Deacon, you guys all right? Yeah, we all right, man. Good looking out that, bro. Your mom's beat the shit out of that old-ass lady. Yo, she just won my $40. All right, everybody, come on, let's get inside, man. <laughs> Mama, you crazy as fuck for beating the shit out that old ass lady. And where'd you come up with the money for the rent? You like on some Wonder Woman shit right now. I ain't got no motherfucking money. I thought y'all won the talent show. Jesus, that shit was a fucking disaster, right? We about to finish up our song. The owner of the club oh cuts the God, music. Oh my God, you're not gonna believe this. What are you talking about? Put these earplugs in your ear. What are you talking about? I'm really telling you, trust me. Put them in. Give me those earbuds. Let me hear what you're talking about. What's wrong with the cats, man? What the fuck? Y'all can talk? Uh. Oh, shit. Ma, you okay? You see? What, what the I'm fuck? Not crazy. What the fuck did you give her to listen to, man? I knew I saw them walking up, right? What the fuck? Yo, give me those fucking earbuds, man. Come to Clockwise. Do you understand us? Come to Clockwise. What the My fuck? Intergalactic bounty hunter Brother Creep believes he may have located the Catopian princess. Lord Creep, my master, I may have located the princess. Brother Creep, make sure you keep me up to date. Oh, and Brother Creep, I'm sure I don't. Yeah, what's up? Wendell, how do you do? It's me, the broker. <laughs> how are you doing? Uh, what do you want, broker? Well, I have a serious problem down here in Cleveland, Ohio, and I need the Stoke Services. You better have a damn good reason for us to come all the way down to dirty ass Cleveland. How about? I'm listening. We need at least 75,000 people killed within the span of three weeks. It needs to look like it was done by a deadly incurable virus. Well, why are you half of your payment now? And you will receive the other half upon completion. Can you handle it? Oh, yeah? 
We can handle it. But why so many people? That's classified. Whatever. We on our way. All right, fellas, pack your bags. We're heading to Cleveland, Ohio. Fucking dirty ass Cleveland. None but junky asses. All dirty. Fucking hate it. Y'all better recognize, man. <sighs> I got 250 million reasons why. That sounds like a good reason to me. Man, I can't believe it. When do we leave? ASAP. Now, sick. We're gonna need your specialty in bioweapons on this one. Yeah, I got you. And you're dead. You're the muscle in case we're running into any problems. Let's pray to God that we run into problems. <laughs> All right, soldiers, we leave at five. Let's move. Yo, this episode of The Great Adventures of Counterclockwise was sponsored by... Live from Los Angeles, California to the world, it's the number one hip-hop morning show. It's Bacon and Beats with the Grand Wizard on the wheel of spill. DJ Dean Michaels and the lovely Miss Linda Skills on 106.5 FM. What's poppin' LA? This is your boy Dean Michaels. And I want to wish a speedy recovery to my partner in crime, Miss Linda Skill, who is in quarantine right now, recovering from the COVID-19 virus. But I know she's listening to this show this morning because she is a huge fan of today's guest. Actually, she's the one that put me on to the damn thing. And that shit blew my damn mind, man. But I'll let him tell you all about it. Put your hands together for the creator, producer, and director of the Hip Hop Sci-Fi Audio Series, The Great Adventures of Counterclockwise, Mr. Deacon Burke. Hey Deacon, welcome to the X Bacon and Beats Hip Hop Morning Show. It's a pleasure. Word. Good looking out, Dean. Thanks for having me, my dude. I'm a big fan of the show. It's a pleasure to have you on the show, Deacon. I- I'm really thrilled that, you know, to have you here. I'm a huge fan, man. Thanks, I man. just bitch watched every single freaking episode. Oh, no shit, for just real? Every episode is just fan fucking fantastic. Thanks, man. Thanks. Is this your first time in LA? Nah, this ain't my first time out west, but it is the first time me meeting the Great Adventures West Coast crew. My man Jim Luhan, my partner Matthew Warren, Logan, Cookie Cook, Big Sal, you know, the whole Great Adventures of Kind of Clockwise crew. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold the phone, stop the presses, we need to talk about this right now. (laughs) Are you telling me that you guys put together an entire 11 episode, 80 minute audio series, and you guys have never met in person? I mean, who who does that, man? Who even has the time for that? Right. Explain this to me. (laughs) Wow, welcome to the future, kid. It's crazy. Well, the word on the street right now that several major companies are in a bidding war to pick up the show is that true? Well, I'm not trying to let the cat out of the bag yet, but yeah, we we got a couple of offers on the table. I love it when the homies win, man. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love when we're winning, man. Everybody seems to be winning right now in a, in a fucking tale of woe and misery outside. <laughs> it's crazy how 2020 just be happening like that. I don't know. So, before we uh, get into the details about this bidding war, the phone lines have been lighting up like crazy. So, Deacon, would you mind if we take a few calls from your fans first? No doubt, Dean. I would love to hear from the fans. Perfect. All right. Uh, hello, caller. You're on the Eggs and Bacon and Beats Hip Hop Morning Show with Dick and Burns. You're a piece of shit. No good motherfucker. So fuck you, PGD, and fuck you, Deacon. I don't know why what you have fuck? a name, Deacon, because you have no dick. What the fuck was that? Damn. Sorry about that, caller, Deacon. Sometimes some crazy people get through. What? I'm sure it won't happen again. All right, just talk about it. All right, Damn. anyway. Uh, hello, caller. You're on the Eggs, Bacon, and Beats Hip Hop Money Show with Deacon Burns. Fuck your ass. This thing Fuck again? you. Fuck your broken back. Damn. Fuck your wheelchair. Fuck your Lord. Damn. Fuck your Jesus. Fuck your God. Damn, this motherfucker bringing God into this shit. Who is this motherfucker? Jesus fucking Christ. Is anybody screening these calls? For real? What the hell is going on back there? Shit. What the hell is going on? 
This is crazy. How does this motherfucker keep getting through? I'm not having it. We have a superstar in the building right now, and you guys can't even screen and do your jobs? Jesus fucking Christ, do I have to go back there and do it for you? <laughs> Look, Dean, I'll take one more call, okay? I know you can't please everybody, but this motherfucker out for blood. Hello, caller. You're on the X Bacon and Beats Hip Hop Morning Show with Deacon Burr. Oh, I hate your oh, fucking shit. Yes. That is why you're what the fucking fuck? pussy. That's why this black This motherfucker fuck. again. You're a fucking wheelchair. Yo, fuck you, you piece of shit, motherfucker. For everybody else, check out the great adventures of Counterclockwise. The freshest hip hop sci fi audio series out. Trust and believe. <laughs>